Hey guys, and welcome back to the Roguebooks YouTube channel. We are really helping the Ninja Legend fans today because we have some awesome tips and tricks that will help you take your Ninja Legend skills to uh, the next level. But wait, before we start, we need your help. Drop a like on this video and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Oh, and turn on the notification bell too so you never miss out on our future videos. And on that note, Let's just hop onto it, I guess. <laughs> Number one, we got becoming a jumping master. You guys can pretty much make it in the last island with just eight double jumps. Yes, you do not actually need all 11 double jumps to make it. Just eight will do. There are many other things that can give you a huge advantage for getting there. First is the jump pads. Well, we at least think that they're called jump pads. They are on the ground and they're very hard to miss because they're bright orange circles. I mean, the International Space Station can see them and they have uh, arrows around them. As soon as you go on them, they'll launch you high into the sky and it's like an extra jump for you. You can find these jump pads on most, if not all islands you reach, so you should definitely use them and get yourself some air. That will give you a huge advantage to making it to the last island. No jump pads? No problem. You can also use trees. No, they won't launch you into the air like jump pads, I mean, they're trees, but you can use them for some extra height. Literally jump on them and start from one to another tree. Uh, that will give you a bit of height and will help you so much and you don't have to use as many double jumps as you need to so at least you can save a couple no trees then use anything with height that you can jump on it'll work just like a tree just a little bit of height and you're good that, that's all you need Number two, get an auto clicker. Guys, guys, let your clicking fingers relax, man. This game is a hell of a grind just for your clicks, and it gets hectic doing it for so many hours. So why don't you just get an auto clicker? I mean, it'll help you a lot. They're usually free, so th there's no problem there. But uh, if you're like me and have literally nothing. <laughs> it's cool because the auto clicker has a couple of settings which you can use to help you. And you can leave it to do its thing in the background while you do something else. So you can make your coins and ninjutsu all the time without being in front of your computer. Just let the auto click do the work. Some may call it lazy, but... I call it efficiency. We recommend getting your hands on Easy Auto Clicker 2.0. This is for PC and it's free and it's easy to use and has some things you can tweak. Unfortunately for you mobile and Xbox players, we we, we don't have any auto clickers for you. We don't care about them, Joe. But yeah, there are no auto clickers currently available for them, so eh, sorry. Three, auto selling. So now you have learned auto clicking. Now we have to auto sell. So for this tip, you still need your auto clicker active. You can auto sell your ninjutsu for coins. Just stand in the area for selling ninjutsu and now you have an insane coin making machine. You can take it one step further. You can take it one step further by going into the store and going back to the sell ninjutsu area with the store still open. So now you're an auto clicking and selling your ninjutsu at the same time. Now the actual tip here is to also start upgrading your item and it's like you have an endless supply for coins because the grinding is being done in the background it's just really awesome it really beats selling your ninjutsu and then running back and forth between the store and a selling area just to make coins and buy items again efficiency number four free chest locations. There are a lot of free chests scattered around Ninja Legends world. Opening the chests can give you a whole range of things like coins or ninjutsu, chi and more. It's really cool. And these chests you can pretty much get daily or every couple of hours. So be sure to keep an eye on when they regenerate so you never miss them. So where are these chests? Well, in the lobby area, you can find one, and you guys probably already know about it because it's a daily reward chest. There is also one by the truck which gives you chi. That one is pretty much opposite side of the daily rewards chest. You need to join a group first to be able to open a chest, but that doesn't really take long. There is also a chest on the top of the waterfall, so those are all the chests you can find in the main area of the game, but there are many more places. There are chests waiting for you in the Enchanted Island, Mythical Island, Space Island, Tundra Island, so be sure to visit those places often to get yourself some 
sweet loot. Those are the few tips and tricks to help you in Ninja Legends. If you guys have any more tips and tricks, put them down in the comments below and help your fellow Robloxians. That'll be it for today's video. Hope you did enjoy. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. We make awesome Roblox content, so make sure you've got your notifications on so you never miss out on the videos we post. Thank you guys for watching and uh, we'll see you next time in the Roblox. Goodbye.